Okay, first things first, let's count it out. A thousand is one thousand. One million, that's a thousand thousands. A billion, that's one thousand millions. And a trillion is one thousand billions. Numerically, it looks like this. One zero 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 zero. That's one followed by twelve zeros. Or, if you like words, one million millions. Imagine a single one dollar bill. It's thin, lightweight, about six inches long, and practically weightless. Now let's stack one trillion of them. That stack would reach over 67,000 miles into the sky. That's nearly a third of the way to the moon. Lay those bills end to end and you'd circle the Earth's equator over 40,000 times. Yeah, you heard that right. Now let's talk weight. A single dollar bill weighs about one gram. So one trillion of them, that's a billion kilograms or 2.2 billion pounds. Enough to outweigh every single car on Earth combined. If you wanted to physically store all those bills, you'd need 16 million standard pallets. Those wooden platforms you see in warehouses, stacked normally, that would fill over 1,300 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Or picture a football stadium like the Rose Bowl. You can fill the entire field, end zones, and stands with loose bills, then do that again in over 4,000 stadiums. Okay, let's say you wanted to count to a trillion by hand, one number per second. No breaks, no sleeping, just pure uninterrupted counting. It would take you, drum roll please, 32,000 years. Let me repeat that, 32,000 years. Now that's your brain reeling a bit, so let's bring it back down to earth. The US national debt, as of early 2025, it's hovering around $34 trillion. So yeah, a trillion is basically pocket change to Uncle Sam. The US federal budget in a single year, Roughly six trillion, meaning the government spends roughly a trillion every two months. That's about $23 billion a day or nearly a billion dollars an hour. Every single hour. Feeling poor yet? Let's say you wanted to make a trillion dollars the old fashioned way. Working. Assume you earn $100,000 a year. Not bad, right? At that rate, it would take you 10 million years to make a trillion. 10 million years. Want to speed it up? Okay, how about you win the lottery and earn a million dollars a day? Every day, no holidays, no sick days. You'd still need 2,740 years to hit a trillion. That means you'd have to start back in 700 BC, when the Roman Empire didn't even exist yet, and you'd just now reach your goal. So, what can you buy with a trillion dollars? You could buy every NFL team, not once, but a hundred times. You could also buy every NBA, MLB, NHL, and Premier League team, and still have enough to launch your own league on the moon. Feeling generous? You could give every single person on Earth, all 8 billion of us, a check for $120, just for being alive. Still not satisfied? You could buy every building in Manhattan, including the shiny ones that you're not allowed into, then demolish them all and build a giant monument shaped like your face. But let's bring it back down to Earth. Let's talk pineapples. At around $3 each, a trillion dollars could buy you 333 billion pineapples. That's enough pineapples to give one to every person on Earth 41 times. Or build a very unstable fruit pyramid that blots out the sun. Not a pineapple person? All right, fine. How about gallons of milk? At $4 a gallon, you could stock up on 250 billion gallons. That's enough to fill over 400,000 Olympic swimming pools with moo juice. You could also buy around 50 billion cups of Starbucks coffee, which based on current caffeine addiction rates would keep the US awake for a decade straight. Or if you're into tech, you could buy every iPhone Apple has ever sold and still have enough left over to fund your own competitor. You want jets? A brand new Boeing 747 goes for around $400 million. With a trillion dollars, you could buy 2,500 of them. Enough to start your own airline. Call it Trill Air. Fly exclusively with your friends. Charge nobody, still profit. Want something even dumber? You could buy 1 billion PS5s. That's more than 100 for every gamer alive. But hey, now you finally have enough controllers for Mario Party Night. Or how about toilet paper? At $20 for a big bulk pack, you could buy 50 billion packs. That's enough to wipe out every toilet paper shortage in history forever. Craving fast food? You could buy about 200 billion Big Macs. 
enough to build a greasy wall around the Earth twice. You could even end world hunger multiple times over, fund universal healthcare, and still afford a small moon base. And if you're the low-key type, you could just live off the interest. At a 5% annual return, a trillion bucks earns you $137 million per day. Let that sink in. You're making over $100 million daily just for existing. But here's the twist. Most of that money, it doesn't even exist. Not in any physical sense. Over 90% of the world's money is just numbers floating in cyberspace. Bank balances, digital ledgers, code, zeros and ones and a server far off somewhere. If you actually tried to withdraw a trillion dollars in cold hard cash, the banking system would probably laugh at you and then collapse in sheer panic. Because all the physical cash in circulation worldwide, it's only about eight trillion dollars total. Try pulling out one eighth of the global cash supply and see how that goes. And then there's inflation, the ultimate reality check. In places like Zimbabwe and Venezuela, and even the Weimar Republic, back in the 1920s, the word trillion stopped meaning wealth. And here's the psychological kicker. They're not just wired for numbers this big. We evolved to recognize a few berries on a bush, maybe 20 sheep in a field. You can feel a million. It's a stadium full of people. You can picture a billion. It's a country's population. But a trillion? That's where our mental gear sees up turns into white noise, just another headline number with too many zeros. It's called psychophysical numbing, the point where numbers lose emotional weight. A death is a tragedy, a million is a statistic, a trillion, that's just math fog. So when you hear trillion in the news, national debt, company valuations, military budgets, it sounds dramatic, but your brain shrugs. It's too big to feel real. That's exactly why it's so powerful. So next time a politician casually drops the word trillion, whether it's spending, debt, or GDP, remember this. You could spend a million dollars every single day for the next 2,740 years and still not run out. A trillion isn't just a number. It's a monument to scale, a challenge to the imagination, a reminder of how small we are and how absurdly massive the systems we built have become. In the end, it's not about the money, it's about understanding the sheer scale of what we talk about when we talk about a trillion. And lucky for you, you're now one of the few people who actually gets it. So the next time you say, oh, it's just a trillion, you can smile, shake your head and say, buddy, you have no idea. If your brain just exploded, don't worry, you're not alone. Hit that like button and subscribe for more mind-bending journeys into numbers, science, and the weirdness of our world. Because the universe is huge, and so is your curiosity. See you next time.